Hello everyone and welcome back to um, Subnautica Velox Zero. Um, Ranya Kumo, Turk is here to watch me suffer as usual. And I'm damn hungry, so let's fix that. Situation sorted. Alright. Um, right, last time we we got the storage upgrade and in between episodes I went and got the materials for the brown suit, so let's go build this, shall we? Don't mind the hail! It's rather windy out here! I'm just gonna go back down. That's gonna fall pretty far down, isn't it? Oh no, never mind, there it goes. Alright, so... There's the upgrade thingy. Two power stars that we made out of one. I'm... Probably never gonna really understand that, but okay. Actually, how much does a power star cost? So I guess it wouldn't really be saving up to just make another C-Truck and just take the two power cells. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the rest is more expensive anyway. Oh well. Alright, this got its own storage. And... Well, captain. <laughs> Alright, dog. So, here's the real question. Where do we find... Spiral plants? If you know. Dog? Hello? Give me a sec, I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I am, uh, yeah, look, that's gonna take a while. You can find them in the vent gardens and deep purple vents. Both of those are areas where the red leviathan can spawn. Oh boy! I would recommend getting the grapple upgrade before you even go. Alright. Where can I find the grapple upgrade? Ah. Uh, right now you have punchy fists. So I see. You have the Fabricator module on right now, right? For the... no, I have the storage module. I haven't fully unlocked the Fabricator one. There's also a docking module that allows you to attach the... what's its fuck to it. The prawn suit? The prawn suit to your sea truck. That could yes. be convenient. Let's go exploring then, I suppose. I'd recommend just hopping in the, uh... C -truck. C truck. Yeah, it was kind of good. Yeah. So maybe I should just you make can an only extra... take it. Hmm? You can only take it so far, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Also, I would recommend getting two samples because you can plant the spiral plant clippings in an exterior grow bed. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Either way, the real question is which direction do I go? <laughs> uh, you remember where the purple vents are, right? Uh, was that the, under the Delta Station area? That's the explodey area. Right. Oh, uh, yeah. So I guess it was in that direction at least. It's where literally everything is exploding. Yes. It's also the first place you can find squid sharks. Yeah. Squid sharks. 
At least we have the first step to upgrade, so that's probably useful. Yeah, I don't think it'll take you low enough to actually... This is the Twisty Bridges. Yeah, and there, there's the explodey stuff, right? And the vents. Is, are those the vents? This is the thermal vents. Is that what I'm looking you for? Need to go a bit, you need to go a bit further into this biome before you find the purple vents. Ah. Because the purple vents are just past this biome. Right. Don't go towards Delta Station, turn left. Go that way. Don't go down. Oh. Keep going the way you were going. Keep going left. Go this is thermal vents, not purple vents. Right? I think I'm being chased. No, you're not. Oh, I just... Okay. Oh. You just ran over a bunch of baby fish, you monster. Oh. Okay, so this is the shallow purple vent. So I see. Just keep going around this biome until you find the deep purple vents. I would recommend staying in the sea truck. Oh, I thought I was done that. <laughs> uh, thank you for not attacking me, big guy. Oh, that was definitely an attack. He just missed. Oh, okay. Anyway, just keep going that way. Yep, yep, it, it gets deeper. Yep. Yeah, main problem with the Citro, uh, it's uh, just... kinda slow. Detecting stone just... of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name. Oh! Mercury. You're here! Inoperative. Uh. How worried should I be? Do you have a, do you have a laser cutter on you? Um... You don't even have the laser cutter unlocked. No. Nope. God damn it. Should I go back and try and find that? No. No. Do you have a beacon on you at least? Nope. Fuck. There's be... a lot of good stuff in the Mercury. But you need a laser cutter to access any of it. Oh hey, something I can actually scan. Oh, yeah, I should probably also, because that. you're hitting the Mercury, that means you are not in the right biome anymore. Or oh. rather, if you go to where the Mercury is, you will not be in the right biome anymore. Oh. Because the Mercury is the next biome. It's also near where Scary Lady lives. Oh boy. Scary Lady is fun. Okay, so I can't actually do anything with this, apparently. I like Scary Lady. You mean basically? All right, that's the thing I was, I wanted to check. Uh, right, I'm done. This thing is. Ooh. I mean, I guess I can just get sulfur from the explodey guys, but if I can get some extra, it's probably useful. Sulfur's not super useful. Oh, oh well. It is useful for making the repair tool, and that's about it. At least I know where to get more if I ever need it. Oh, hey. There's a lot of lithium in this area. Yeah. Purple vents is the best place to get it. The question is, where, which direction do I go Left. to? <laughs> Left. Okay. You were, you were literally going the right direction before you started spinning around going, which direction do I go to now? Oh, so... That way, then? Yes. Oh boy, even more of them. Ah, uh, those guys are kinda harmless. And squid it's... sharks you gotta worry about. Guess what, they also spawn here. Yeah, emphasis on kinda. Eh, mostly harmless. Yeah, it's 
they're also faster than the sea truck. <laughs> yes, but they do less than 1% damage. So it seems. Tell me if I start going the wrong direction, I'm mostly trying to avoid them. It's not really a wrong direction, it's more of a... You'll know if you hit a different biome. Oh look! There's a module! Help, by the way. Yeah, that did a lot. By the way, that thing one-shots you. I can imagine. By the way, I 100% knew that was gonna happen. Oh, is it like guaranteed or something? No, but... I... I told you that red guy spawns in that biome. That's red guy. Fair enough. By the way, you should repair your sea truck. Yes, yes, I should. By the way, you should repair your sea truck. Uh, do I have the repair tool equipped? Yes, I do. Yes, it is. It is on seven. You have to be outside the sea truck in order to repair it. Uh, oh shit, that's... Right, seven. That's six. <laughs> I hope I got into a small enough area. Nope. Uh, I thought so. Hey, Ran, look! There's a blueprint! That's probably blueprint useful. Synthesized. It, it's really not, because it's less capacity than your ultra high capacity. Uh oh. I mean, it's useful if you want to be a. if you want to run away. By the way, I lied. You are in kind of a safe area. That's the one, right? Went that way, so... Nope. Oh, so that big one was something else? Oh, no, that was the red... That was the red guy. By the way, I'd go back down there, because you still need to go down there. Uh... <laughs> You're fine. Okay. As soon as you get the option, take a nosedive. If you hug the wall, he's less likely to attack you. Good, now note, less likely does not mean he's not going to attack you. And the if you stand still for too long, he is more likely to attack you. Okay, this cave is a safe place to park. Got it. Although, good luck getting your sea truck out. Uh, I'll manage. Probably. By the way... The sea truck does move faster if you jettison the modules. So what you're saying is I probably shouldn't have brought it with the modules to begin with. Oh, hello there. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. By the way, red guy and usually hangs out around the entrance to that area. Necessary to assemble my body. Damn it! I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 
No, I mean he guards the entrance to this area, which is up there. Ah. Sadly, a lot of the things to scan are also up there. <laughs> You can take, with the sea truck, the sea truck can take three, three hits from him before it has to repair. Yeah. I'm still scared though. Which I guess is not surprising. Right, that's where I left the sea truck. Well, I already have the storage module here. I might as well make use of it. Hit T. Hmm? Hit T. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. You have to close the PDA. Yeah. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Yeah, everyone has their priorities, right? This is a horrible idea. No, this is an excellent idea. The only reason I'm doing this is because I have more... ...perception and speed like this. So I'm pretty sure it wouldn't help me anyway. That guy is faster than you. Oh, more lithium. Don't be a, don't be afraid. Easy for you to say. It's not. <laughs> I've come toe to toe with this guy before. He's not that scary. He's much worse. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for you to say that. way. That module is completely fucking useless. Then what else do they need down here? You need spiral plant clippings, which don't spawn in the safe caves. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> There's no safety if you want those spiral plants. Do you think bringing the... Uh, the Bronzo would have been a better idea? No. Not without the grappling arm. You'd never get it back up. Ah, good point. You would need either the grappling arm or the docking module.
Guess where both of those spawn? In very dangerous areas. In this biome. Ren, you're going back into the safe area of the biome. You're not gonna get what you need up here. <sighs> Listen, what would Zekin say? Fuck it. We're doing it live. I mean, yes, yes, we can the fight. <sighs> right. Or, you know, we're doing it dead. One of the two. Eat this. <sighs> okay, so I need to go this way. I think. West, 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 west. I'm going the wrong way again, aren't I? Yup. I think so. Okay, so I need to be going sort of east from the pronounced from the C truck. Let me just get my air back real quick. And then just hope it doesn't catch me. You know what? I don't care about you. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high really? pressure and temperatures. Yeah, there's a lot of that one here. There's also a lot of other useful ones. Yeah. Oh. Here they are. Cut two of those and run. Yes, I know that was dumb. Especially Very. since... Now I need to make it... Uh... Did that guy just clip through the terrain? Only a little bit. Fuck it. By the way, he's even more dangerous when he's below you. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Can I even get back home from this direction? Not in a straight line, and not sticking to the surface. Shit. In fact, all sticking to the surface is liable to do is get you eaten. Where is it? Very loud. Alright, stick to the ground, stick to the ground. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Uh. Told you, stick to the ground. Uh. I'm alive. <laughs> now you gotta get the sea truck out of there. <laughs> uh, it's the least of my concerns right now. <laughs> Pretty sure it's your biggest concern right now. Yes, but the Citro can take a hit. Or two. You're lucky that that was not a direct hit. <sighs> I know.
and yes, I am very much aware that he hit me and I just barely survived. this area. Oh, not much. You're back to the safe biome. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh... <laughs> well, the relatively safe biome. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think there's like one hostile creature in this one. Doesn't matter, we're sort of safe now. So, how do you feel? Like, I'm glad we only record one episode of this at a time. <laughs> how you doing? No. I'm doing no. <laughs> Wanna go again? No, but I get the feeling I'm gonna have to anyway. <laughs> Guess where the rest of the Sea Truck Fabricator module is? Kinda figure. Oh, I need to build another planter. Uh... Exterior modules. Soon? Hey kids, want to see a dead body? Too bad. <laughs> Wait, no, those are not. Oh well. Like, alright, there's no point in <laughs> planting those directly. Well, there is if you want to stab them and get the seeds that you can replant. Yeah, but I already planted some of those over there, so it's fine. I'm just gonna start them. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, I need to use them to make more batteries anyway. But, um... Do you need for this thing? Oh yeah, the rubies. Rubies? So, how are you feeling? Mmm... Uh... I don't know. I think next time I just I should just go and get the laser cutter from somewhere. All right, uh, glass, lead, and diamond. That shouldn't be too difficult. You got a diamond. Okay, I do have lead. The feeling when that's what I was worried about. <laughs> uh, Basic materials, glass. Yep. And now you need to go get your... Yeah, sorry for brain, for being slow, brain not working right now. <laughs> brain in panic mode? Yes, that. And... Yeah, I don't think there's much of a use on making the Thermoblade. No. I mean, technically, you can get food at any depth, like cooked food, but eh. Yeah. Top right. Kai and I, Nickel, we haven't even seen those things yet. I'm not going to tell you what's guarding Kai and I. Is it worse than the red one? Yes. That's all I needed to know. Actually, depends on what you mean by worst. Hmm. Yes, that's fair. Gonna because in some ways, yes. In others, it's not as bad. I'm gonna move all of this stored stuff. And yeah, after... Whenever we do next episode, we're going to at least go unlock the laser cutter. I should probably also craft a beacon or something. Shouldn't be difficult. Yeah. 
Do you want to watch me play this for a little while? Uh, no, we have other things to record, remember? Besides... Yes, but it could help you de-stress watching me freak out. Uh... I'm also technically not as far as you. Huh. Ah, there it is. Go back I'm also back. technically farther than you in some ways. <laughs> Yeah, that's the other reason I probably shouldn't. Mm, I guess I can move the sulfur and the silver goes here. This gets removed. Well, we have plenty of lithium at least. So how long has this recording been going? Uh thirty minutes actually. It's not too bad. I'd say that's a good place to cut it, then. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Too. You can... Yeah, you could finish sorting off-screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I mean, I'm pretty much already finished. Either way, uh, I hope you'll have fun. And I'll continue suffering next time. Suffering, yeah, well, whatever. Bye-bye. <laughs>